Hello, I'm Harold Weinbrecht, and for the past 15 years, it's been my privilege to serve as the mayor of Cary, North Carolina, a community that encourages everyone to live inspired. And I'm pleased that you've joined me today as I present the State of Cary Address for 2023. While we enter the year with high inflation and a threat of recession, we are well positioned to have another remarkable year. We are a safe, diverse, educated, environmentally friendly, economically strong community and remain one of the most desirable places to live, work, play and run a business in America. I believe that in the next few years, Cary will experience a positive transformation unlike any time in our history, not only with major development projects, but with environmental initiatives. Cary today is a result of careful planning from a dedicated staff following the vision of an experienced council and strengthened by the numerous partnerships throughout our business community. And if you look at the data, picture of excellence emerges. The past 10 years has seen steady, manageable growth of about 2.9%, which brings us to just over 182,000 residents and makes us the second largest municipality in Wake County. And while we have a predominantly older population, we've seen 20% growth in the millennial demographic, which is consistent with the national average. We are as diverse as we are prosperous. With 22% of Cary residents born in a foreign country and representing over 60 nationalities, while our median income is about $113,000. Our recognition nationally puts us in a leadership position on the metrics that matter most to communities. We have received accolades that span safety, economic opportunity, and healthy families. Plus, Cary has been named the best local government to work for in the United States. We are proud to be recognized for living inspired on a daily basis. Cary has three major sports venues, Wake Med Soccer Park, USA Baseball, and the Cary Tennis Center hosting over 300 events annually with tournaments across multiple levels of competition. In 2022, these sporting events attracted over 650,000 people through our gates, which in turn generated over $17 million in economic impact. All events that are held and carry help contribute to a diverse, thriving economy. Cary has seen impressive job growth over the past 10 years, adding over 20,000 jobs in that period of time. Just this past year, $73 million was invested by businesses throughout Cary. Our staff continue to manage our town finances in ways that allows us to undertake larger capital projects using voter-approved bond financing. Our current fiscal year budget is $443 million. Operations is set at $324 million, while capital is set at $119.6 million. Cary's property tax rate remains unchanged at 34.5 cents per $100, which for the 15th consecutive year makes Cary the lowest tax rate in Wake County. Housing affordability is at the forefront of everyone's mind, and we have committed $9 million for housing, with $5 million from the one-time Federal American Rescue Plan Act. This past year, Cary partnered with a North Carolina-based developer, Laurel Street, 
to build our first mixed income development on Cary owned property. The 126 unit development will have set aside approximately half of the units for households earning 50% to 100% of AMI or area median income. In June of this past year, the Human Relations, Inclusion and Diversity Task Force was created and met for the first time. The mission of the DEI Task Force is to improve the quality of life and sense of belonging for the Cary community by making data-informed recommendations, encouraging equitable treatment, creating broader access, and promoting mutual understanding and respect amongst all people. The Cary Town Council has added two new members within the last year. Carissa Johnson was elected in July of 2022 and Ryan Eads was appointed in January of 2023 to fill the vacancy left by Yalu, who is now in the North Carolina House. The remaining five council members have 101 years of combined experience. That experience will be key in the upcoming years, during which we will have to make decisions on crucial and transformative projects. Almost everything Cary does impacts the environment in some way. That's why our focus on environmental initiatives is so important. Cary is a green community full of beautiful trees that we value. Even with our limited legislative authority, we have permanently preserved 30% of Cary as open space and parks. A solar array at the South Cary Water Reclamation Plant was purchased last year. That array offsets about 1,500 tons of greenhouse gas emissions annually, which is equivalent to 184 homes. Future Cary facilities, such as the USA Baseball Indoor Facility and the new Cary Tennis Center Clubhouse, will also have solar included. Greenhouse gas reductions from solar installations, both public and private, in Cary are equivalent to adding thousands of trees. Our commitment to pedestrian connectivity and safety is reflected in the 40 sidewalk projects currently in development. 14 of those projects were funded with $12 million from the American Rescue Plan Act. And bicycle mobility is an important component of our Cary Community Plan. I'm excited by the innovation at the intersection of Fenton Gateway Drive in Trinity. This is the region's first protected intersection design, providing increased safety and comfort for bike riders. The transformation of our downtown is exciting to see, and the completion of our downtown park later this summer will be one of the most anticipated grand openings Cary has ever seen. Right now, it is approximately 80% complete. Operational planning has kicked in the high gear and staff is being hired in preparation for the programs being planned for our residents to enjoy. I'm inspired every time I walk into these chambers. This is where my fellow colleagues and I Work together to build your trust. You see, we're all working together, citizen, staff, council, to create a brighter future where there are no limits. And I believe the state of Cary is stronger than ever.